Okay. So after a week straight of contemplating on if I want to really put a texturizer on my hair or not, and this being the third time that I have been late to work because I just, no matter how early I get up to do my hair, it's just so hard to manage. It took me 30 minutes to do this to my hair, y'all. 30 minutes to do a ponytail. When I first went natural, it was, my hair was easy to manage. It was manageable, it was very manageable. But then one day out of nowhere, my curl pattern changed. I stopped putting heat on my hair. It's been a while, which could be why my curls, I guess, tighten back off with all the mask and treatment and everything that I put on my hair. And since then, I guess that could be why my curl pattern has gotten tighter. But y'all, it is so hard to manage. I just really rather not. A lot of them were pretty positive reviews. There was only one where a girl said her hair went completely straight, but I doubt that's gonna happen to me. I don't really like chemicals like that. And I know if I put this on my head that I'm probably not gonna leave it on long enough for my hair to get too straight. I probably might end up freaking myself out and washing it out before it can even actually take. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put a texturizer on my hair. And I don't want to hear none of that bull crap about your hair is chemically, chemically processed, so technically you're not natural anymore. It's going to be that one person who got, who done hair, dyed their hair millions of times, and all this other crap done got put in their hair that's going to try to say something about me not being natural anymore. I'm not natural, not fully natural, and I don't give a damn. You do my hair every morning, and if that's how you feel. But anyways... Yes, I'm going to put a texturizer on my hair. And this is my curl pattern right now. Uh, it's like 4C. Uh, I'm lying. The top half of my hair is 4C. The back part of my hair is like a 4D. I ain't even a hair texture. That's how it is. That's how 4C my hair is. It's like a... It's horrible. It's type hard to manage. That's what it is. I be having too much going on. And it got 30 minutes to do my hair. Then I gotta get my child run around, chase my child, to get him break this just too much. So I'm gonna put this texturizer on my hair. I'm a little scared that I'll end up taking it out too early and it end up not taking on my hair. Cause I don't really need too much messy chemicals like that. But I'll record the process.
pour the Brilliant Anti-Breakage Avocado Oil formula into the mixture.
put eco salad on it like I was doing a wash and go. And I mean, my curl pattern changed a little bit. Just like a tiny, tiny bit. I freaked myself out and took it out early. But I mean, all I needed was just a little bit looser anyway. I didn't need all that extra. I didn't need all of that. Just, I didn't need loose, loose curls. I just needed something a little bit looser than what I already had. Now that I put the eco style on it, I realize that it is like a little bit of a difference in my before and my after. So what I'm going to do is style it in the same style that it was before I did it and see if I can tell a difference in my curls when my hair is like that. But, I mean, yeah. And I have way more body than I did before. Which I love it. The body of my hair is. Okay. But yeah. After the eco style was sitting there, I can tell if I were to do like a twist out or something, it would come out amazing. And I wouldn't have to put as much effort into it. I could really just part my hair in sections and just make sure I can each really good and it'll probably come out like these did just now when I did them. See what you know? Like these did. My whole head will probably come out like that. Which it's already easier to manage in a way. Doing this. I don't have as many issues. But okay, I'm gonna pineapple my hair tomorrow because I've worn it back and I don't want my edges to be all discombobulated and things. So I'm gonna pineapple my hair. And then when I style it, it'll have. 